Science and Technology, 25,000 BC to 500 BC. The early history of the world is often divided into periods named after the materials used for technology of the time, stone, bronze, or iron. The three main divisions are Stone Age, Bronze Age, and Iron Age. These divisions cover different periods of time in different parts of the world, and they represent periods of development rather than specific historical dates. For example, the Katalhoyuk in Turkey, the use of copper started around 6200 BC, but the Aboriginal Australians, the Stone Age continued almost until present day. The spread of technologies. In ancient China, the Bronze Age started around 2700 BC, and it lasted for over 2000 years. In other places, technologies were introduced through foreign contact. In Africa, ironworking started around 800 BC, and it was imported from Egypt, leading them out of the Stone Age. One of the most significant inventions was the wheel, first used by the Sumerians more than 5,000 years ago. It needed flat surfaces such as roads to run on. Boats were important, powered by paddles or poles or oars and sails. These were the best means of travel, and many early civilizations depended on rivers and boats for transportation. Making life easier. Many farming, domestic, and military implements were needed. They ranged from needles to eating utensils, pots and furniture and spades and saws to swords and battering rams, all invented to meet different needs over the centuries. Each of them made life easier and better. These objects allowed urban civilizations to come into being and flourish from abacus to computer. All of the technologies in use today have their roots in this prehistoric period. In modern times we have computers, but counting systems such as the abacus were invented thousands of years ago. Alright, this is the end of the ancient world. Starting tomorrow, we're going to start with the classical age. Alright, peace out guys.